Hello, this is Paula, and it's a beautiful sunny day out there. So this is the day my daughter is coming to visit my youngest, and we're supposed to go and go to my cousin's lake, and maybe go on the boat. We'll see, and some play some cribbage. So before we do that, I wanted to make some bagels with fresh garden tomatoes with some pepperoni. And so what I did first is I each bagel I cut up I cut the three three cuts so they're thin, okay? And then I put some olive oil on each side. I put it in the oven at like 375. Um, and then I turned them over about five minutes later, brushed the olive oil on again, so they're almost ready to come out. And when they come out, we'll start um, assembling them. But first, what we're going to do, oh, there goes the phone. One daughter. second. That was my daughter, and she said she'll be here in about, about 1130. So I have time to do this, which is great. So with the leftover olive oil that I had, that I covered each side of the bagels, and I use sesame seed bagels, I'm going to put all these tomatoes in that bowl with the leftover olive oil. Not doing it very, <laughs> not doing a great job. They're spilling all over the place. Well, cooking should be fun, you know? And it's, it's it's really fun when you cook with a lot of people and friends and stuff. So look what I got. I got some tomatoes on the, the table here. Let's go get those in the bowl. All right. Then what I did is I took, I had about, I'd say, a tablespoon of that oregano that I got when I was taking a walk around my sister's um, neighborhood. And this lovely couple she she grows oregano and she dried it and she gave me this whole container it was so wonderful that's the end of it then i took a um a half a teaspoon of ground um basil a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of onion powder and what i'm going to do is and a half a teaspoon of salt what i'm going to do is i'm going to just sprinkle it all over those tomatoes and then I'm going to work it in with a spoon. Also, if you remember my other video, I, I usually buy pepperoni ends, and I got some really nice pepperoni ends. They're really thick, so I cut them up in little, little squares, and I put them in the microwave, and I cooked a lot of that fat off. So I wanted to let you, you know, kind of give you a summary. And then... I have three types of cheeses here. I have um, cheddar, shop cheddar, white. I have a little mozzarella and a little provolone. Um, and that was um, shop provolone, provolone this time. So when the bagel bites come out, the bagels come out, we'll okay. show you how to so do I it. So I took All out right. the bagel slices that I cut really thin and I covered them both sides with olive oil and I baked it in the oven for about 350, 375 for about five minutes each side, uh, no longer. You don't wanna burn them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a slotted spoon and take some of those tomatoes and we're gonna put it on the bagel. All right, and then we're gonna take a little bit, I've got a glove on, a little bit of pepperoni, and then a little bit of cheese. And I'm doing it over um, a cutting board. So if everything, anything falls off, it falls off on the cutting board. So you're not going to lose any product. All right? And make sure you poke the hole. So if there's anything in the hole of the bagel, you want to get that free. And then you just place it back on the cookie sheet and then you put it in the oven like at 300 degrees um, just for about three minutes so the cheese is melted. So when we come back, we'll see the finished babies product. are ready to come out of the oven. 
Oh, I think I hear my youngest daughter coming through the door. Great timing, great timing. All right, say hi. hi. Shut the door, honey. She made it. No, I made um, I made pepperoni on um, English. I mean on um, bagels, but I cut them really thin. And I didn't use any onions. I just used the onion powder, garlic powder. And um, would you want to try one, or do you want the other stuff I made you? The okay. Spoon? Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's get you a dish. Here you go. Here's a dish. Grab one. Okay. And you can. You want over here? Over here. Yeah. All right. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm I missed here. you. I know. <laughs> That's okay. You are busy. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. I like your hair. Oh, thanks. I got it. Yeah, I need it. Yeah, it looks good. And they kept the length. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. I do not really cut it in the back. Just okay. The hangs really cool. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to go on our um, trip today. And maybe we'll do some filming from there. But mm -hmm. until next time, this mm -hmm. is Paula and this is Sarah. All right. As I promise, we're I at my you. cousin's house, and this is her Christmas cactus. That's like 40 years old, and it'll bloom during Christmas, of course. I've, I don't think I've ever seen... And Easter. And Easter. I've never seen such a big Christmas cactus. And hopefully you can see the lake from here. It's beautiful. So hopefully we're going to go on a boat ride. And uh, so these are called we'll lake bugs. They come out at night and they try to get in the screen. And they don't last long. They die. So the people that have um, lake houses, they have to take a brush and they have to brush their screens, their windows. And then they have to open up their windows and get all these out. I call them lake bugs. I don't know what they're doing. Jean calls them lake bugs, bugs but she doesn't know the correct name. But so I, I think that lake are, bugs is good enough. There's a duck in the lake. Sunday. Isn't this a beautiful lake? We, were, we are so okay, blessed. God's creation. We oh, it's so nice. Just wanted to share this with you. What were you saying, Sarah? So beautiful. You like the wind chimes? Yeah. I like chimes. My cousin has lots of wind chimes. I like to put like vegetables, like plants hanging from the side there. Yeah. I wonder how I did that. Just like drilled it. I don't know. You'll have to ask him. Sarah, how are uh, uh, your cousin Jeannie's cherry babies? Very good. Yeah, they are good. Good, good amount of oil on both sides of the bread. Yeah. Oh, well, good. All right. Do you see it? Oh, did you see it for a minute, people? Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's see if it'll come back for the nectar. It's a beautiful day. It was cloudy, but now the clouds are gone. Very few behind me and to my left. Um, and there goes Jean. Jean's got the noodles and different things. So we can jump off the boat when we go to the swimming hole. The gas up the boat. So... So he has to move the boat on the opposite side because that's where the gas tank is. And they, we need to gas up the uh, boat so we can have a boat ride and then go swimming. Um, Jean and Sarah just on the dock waiting. Pops. <laughs> hey, see that How am I doing? I don't want to hit the ducks. Bye. Okay.
The lake is low. We, that means we need rain. We want to praise the Lord for rain the other day. We got a little bit. Um, it's a gorgeous day. Oh. Hey, oh, oh, oh. are you enjoying this? I'm just going in the garage. <laughs> we got some ducks on the dock. Sarah, uh, there's some little duckies in the water here. Let's see if we can get a little close and we'll show you some ducks in the water. This is our boat trip. Jean and Bob are bringing Sarah and I on a boat trip. And look at all the ducks in the water. There's got to be at least seven. They're just hanging out. Oh. Oh. Where are they? Oh, there's one. Let's see if we can get one. Over here? Okay, Over here? so here goes Jean first. I'm walking down the ladder. Okay. A little chilly. It's a little chilly. Yeah. I'm gonna turn around and go in this way. That's that makes sense, Jean. That's how I do it, Jean. Yeah, backwards. Yeah, it's better. Okay. 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 There it goes. The bottom step. So I gotta. Oh down. boy. Sit on that first. Yeah. And then. <laughs> go, go. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, Jean. Oh, Oh, there she goes. She's off. She's off. Now here goes Sarah. Let's see what Sarah's going to do. Once you get in, it'll be okay. Yeah. Follow Jean's lead. Yeah. Oh, it's a little chilly. Oh, Sarah, how are you? Jean? Okay, Bob. Can I uh, get you on video? Get me on video? Yeah, he's the captain of the ship. Oh, okay. He got us here safe. <laughs> he's the gardener, the captain of the ship. Right. Okay. Sarah, let me see those Grandma Mary's oh, sunglasses. Oh, Put them on. I did. They're beautiful. She's borrowing them. Yeah. So. Oh, there's Jean. <laughs> Hey, I'm supposed to be taking your picture. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> Come close. There's the captain. He's making sure everything's okay. Captain Bob. Just pulled the anchor. There he did. He pulled the anchor. Yep. He's ready to get into his captain's chair. Jean, and you better sit down. I'm shifting and they're going to fall. Yeah, Gene, sit. Okay. I'm sitting. Oh, there's a fisherman over there. Oh, there we go. It was a beautiful day for swimming, and we got a fisherman over there. Let's see if you can see him. Now we're going to look at the eagle's nest. Okay. We're going to go look at the eagle's nest. Okay, it sounds good. Oh, at the end of uh, the inauguration last night. Yeah. I had a, uh, a singer, Christopher Machio. It was yeah. I'm not sure if I pronounced it Sounds it. Right. Sounds yeah, Italian. M A C C H I O. Yeah. Italian. And me? unbelievable! Italian. What a voice! Really? And he, he was singing different songs, and then he sang the one they sing at church, but they sing it in Italian, right? You said what you was had the to name learn of it? it. You sang that at St. Anthony's. Uh, I think it was the Hail Mary in Italian. We used to sing it in Grandma's. Ave Maria? Yes. Yep. We, we used to sing. Yeah. We used to sing that. I don't know. I would. No. Well, that was a lifetime ago, huh, Jean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to remember now. What a, what a voice on him. Oh. Yeah? Well, we'll have to go on YouTube and see, you know, if we can catch it. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah? All right. I got to watch it again because I was nodding off in between. Yeah. Cause I started watching at uh, 8.30. Yeah. All these different people. Hmm. So, but one um, night, 
they had um, Abby Johnson. Okay. She is the one that they made the movie about called Unplanned. Okay. Yeah, a fabulous movie, true story. Right. She talked about she worked at Planned Parenthood and little by little worked her way up and became a director. Yeah. And when she first started, they said, I want you to understand this is only by rare necessity that we do this and all of that. Well, then one day they said, you have a quota of how many you have to how many abortions you have oh. to do this month. Oh no. You have to meet this quota. Oh. And then one day she went to surgery and assisted in an actual abortion after she became that she was the director and she had to go and assist and they had an ultrasound going on at the same time as they're doing the abortion the murdering doing this yeah with a suction cup oh suction yeah tube um she actually watched on ultrasound how the baby was literally trying to get away from the suction moving to get away a full fully developed <gasps> baby and, she, and then the doctor joked about it when they finally got the baby and said beam me up Scotty oh. from that movie whatever and oh. she oh from Star Trek yes yeah and she had to leave and run out and go in the bathroom she was sick she was so upset. Yeah, because it's murder. Yeah, yeah. And after that, she resigned and she started exposing what they're doing. What they're really she doing. Talk, she spoke, so that was in the movie, but she spoke um, about that. And she, she told those general details at the National Convention, Republican Convention. Nice. About what happened to her. And she also said, they talking about celebrating women. The yeah. founder of Planned Parenthood, and I think she said the name was Margaret Stanger, I'm not sure, but something like that, the founder. Her whole goal in founding Planned Parenthood was to reduce the minority population. So she set up these Planned Parenthood clinics in poor neighborhoods, uh. predominantly black Oh, That's and awful. Hispanic and people of color. Yeah. And she set those clinics up in those neighborhoods to try to reduce those populations of minorities. Oh, that's here awful. They are yeah. Putting her up on a pedestal. Oh, so wrong. And, yeah. So wrong. Mm -hmm. But that was that was very very moving when she told that story. And to yeah. See, to see the movie you haven't seen it. No, I Un haven't. I'm going to have to. Unplanned. See, Unplanned. See, see the movie. Okay. It's the whole true story of what happened to her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, ha you have it here now. You know, you've heard it, people. Yeah. The Lord will get the final say. Uh-huh. On... All this evil mm -hmm. and sin in the world. Yeah. Yes. So there's an eagle's nest up in those trees. And we did see an eagle, baby eagle, um, earlier when we were swimming. Ah, uh, I see the nest. Wow. That's a big nest. That's a big nest. I don't know if you can see year. it. They come back every year. And they every add year to they the add to it. The nest. Yeah. Wow. We had two chicks this year. Two chicks? Two eaglets? Wow. Size of that thing? Yeah, it's huge. Wow. And his fiance now, his girlfriend, we met her because they came to visit us from, yeah, near, from the west side and now and two years ago. So they he brought her with them. So we had met Ashley. So Bob's in the garden and he's gonna pick some vegetables for Sarah and I. He's got a great garden. Mine's so like I 
Mike. I don't even know if you want to call my garden a garden because, it's oh, it's not even. It's like I just, like, there's nothing. It's so sparse. And here goes, comes Sarah. She's going in the garden. Yeah. Okay. My mom likes to see me. Yeah, we'll go market tomatoes. Summer squash. 